Hi guys and welcome to your January 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading second half of the month for the beautiful sign of Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hello Scorpio. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the Tribe and what's good fam bam, so hello to my members and my patrons. All right. So what we're going to be doing, obviously, is pulling the energy, Scorpio, for you and your partner. Oh, I see. Um, and finding out what they may not be telling you. How I uh, derived at the upload um, schedule, um, as I've told the other videos that are already posted, uh, the other Zodiac signs, is I went in um, into this wheel. It is called the Wheel of Names. It's like a random picker. And I stuck all of 12 of the Zodiac signs in there and clicked the button. And every time I click the button, it basically spit a, a name out. And each time it spit out a name, I just removed that name and spent again. So I had 12 spins. And the order that you are being uploaded is the order that it spit out. So um, it's nice to see you. But Scorpio, you're typically, you fluctuate from <clears throat> between the first three and the third three, because I upload, I'm not going to necessarily say in threes, but I like to chop it up into threes. Um, so you're in the same spot that you normally are in. So that's nice. So again, everything you need will be below in the description box. Thank you guys for all of your well wishes. Um, I am going very slow, but taking it one day at a time as I get my energy back. There is a video that is going to be pinned in the comments if you're interested in that little message that I recorded for you guys. I didn't want to put that at the top of each video this time because I had just did that at the beginning of the month when I was getting over the first sickness where I lost my voice. So here we go. Um, I think I'm good for a while. For the better half of one whole month, I've been sick in some form, shape, form or capacity. So I'm over that. All right. So everything that you need is below in the description box and let's go. So we're going to go in. I've been doing some shuffling off camera and it looks like you guys are in an energy of judgment. Um, this is the awakening. This is the absolution. This is coming into um, having some type of epiphany or the calling that something your, your partner is possibly uh, being called um, to answer something within themselves as it pertains to this relationship. Um, but this is kind of the energy that is being displayed right now. And I have been shuffling um, the Oracle cards. We're going to get three just to see exactly what may be going on with your person. And we do have Sparks. Sparks is in an energy of four. Four talks about the stability. It talks about security, but really fours represent um, an energy of stability. So with that being said, sparks is not necessarily a bad thing. I think it's self-explanatory. We can kind of go inside of the explanation right here. Um, but the card of four. So when it comes down to energy um, around security and stability with you guys, um, sparks um, are a reminder of what it feels like to be alive. This is chemistry. This is newness. This is exciting, um, excitement, flirting, getting to no phase, infatuation, or we can be talking about reigniting the spark in a relationship or a new partner, endless possibilities, idealism, fast movement, possibility to fizzle out quickly or a temporary phase. I'm feeling like, you know, I try to give all of those adjectives because sometimes if the main energy doesn't resonate, then maybe some of the adjectives of the cards will. What I'm feeling right here, though, honestly, is that this is going to be reigniting the passion between you guys. Honestly, let's go ahead and go into the other one. So there is a newness and a sparkle between you um, and reigniting the things about being with each other um, that obviously once was lost. We also have confusion. Um, <clears throat> this lets me know that this individual, individual Scorpio has those warm, fuzzy feelings for you, has those feelings 
um, of, you know, uh, wanting the sparks to fly, wanting to reignite things. But at the same time, there has been some difficulty that 32 is five. And that lets me know right there that this individual is unfortunately still confused. Um, they're a little fuzzy on how to even reignite things or where do we go from here type of situation. Um, they're a little fuzzy and there's still much confusion surrounding this love and this relationship with you. And let me also say that fives obviously carry um, that energy that is challenges, trium um, not triumphs, but it's challenges. There's some, there has been challenges um, that you guys have endured, okay? And then we have robotic. Look at that. The card of 20. Um, two is all about, um, obviously, togetherness and choices sometimes. But it really talks about the bond between you guys. Um, I'm interested in what that looks like. So I am going to go ahead and read that for you guys because that is a really interesting card. I don't get it that much. So I want to know what Miss Crystal Banner um, meant when she um, channeled that particular card. Okay. We are humans, not robots. Makes sense. Going through the motions, stuck in the matrix, emotionally disconnected, not honoring the emotions. There's the confusion. Attached to the illusion, following a script, not honoring wants and desires, a need to step back. Dry communication, a connection dependent on computers, internet, or technology. I like this because some of you guys do have these relationships that can be derived or completely wrapped around um, the computer. It's like a computer. And that seems to be the norm depending on what your age, age range is. Um, it feels very much like, okay, well... Everything is about electronic stimulation, communication, um, and that kind of goes with the territory. Your person feels those sparks from you. However, there has been some confusion and some things that has taken place. Um, it, you guys hit a rough patch, sort of like the Gemini video. You are in this place where it seems to be fizzling out and dying out, and then boom, we follow our heart once again in the card of, uh, and we have another four. So when it comes down to the sparks and the the actual, look at that, follow your heart. When it comes down to following your heart and the things that you have to do, um, that follows that four mentality. The excitement of the four of wands is like you're experiencing all of the fours. There's a little bit of possession and not looking at the bigger picture with the four of pentacles. There is a little bit of not following your heart and going within and having complete apathy rather than empathy with that four of cups. There is an excitement and sparks and, celeb and celebratory energy with the four of wands. And yet at the same time, there is four of swords where I am going into a deep contemplative type of situation, type of mentality, and leaves me confused because I have these feelings for you and I really don't know exactly what I need to do with them. So let's find out in addition to what's going on right now, what is going on um, um, in addition to those Oracle cards. So it does appear that there has been a great deal of confusion and it just feels like the thing to do. We start this with the three of swords. So we know right now that there has been and what we lead this with heartbreak. We're talking about suffering and sorrow. Um, and I want you to also know, and I can tell you right now, guys, right now that, hold on. I have some things in here. Let me show you the card. Um, the north, the, the, the south node and the north node. Um, it entered January the 18th. 
So we are fresh on this energy of the North Node entering Taurus, which means that the South Node is in Scorpio. So if that is your exact North Node, South Node, or whatever that is, I plan on bringing some commentary and some education to you guys about that. But clearly, this person is definitely feeling heartbreak. Um, and again, it's not necessarily talking about an act of heartbreak. Also, it can be talking about all of the feelings that go along with that. But we're leading with that situation. We're leading with that energy, which is not necessarily a good thing, Scorpio. Okay. Um, suffering. This person is feeling grief and loss and loneliness. What else do we have here? We have the two of cups at the same time. Do you see that? There is a partnership. This is your connection. Look, th th this is beautiful. This is your unity. This is the connection and the partnership that you still have. It's like, I love you, although you hurt me more than anybody. I know a lot of you guys can relate to that. And you are stuck with what to do about these feelings. In the heart place, we are looking at the four of buttons. And that is the four of pentacles, which is that energy that I've already laid out to you guys. When we're talking about, you know, the security and uh, the def defensiveness. And, and ultimately, this is definitely an energy where we're talking about Period, point blank, I look at things a certain way. I'm going to be possessive. This is the way that I am looking at it. But also this energy in the heart place talks about block and change and not wanting to evolve out of this stagnancy. And this is what they're not telling you. They really do believe that this is what you're doing. You have the inability or an inability, Scorpio, to look at the bigger picture and it's heartbreaking to them clearly. Okay. What else do we have here, Spirit? We have huh, the nine of buttons. So this person tries to fill up their own cup. Um, they try to separate themselves from you, but they can't stay away. Um, they are very self-fulfilled. They are self-reliant. They are reliant on themselves. Um, this is the attainment with the nine of pentacles. This is the single lady, single man card. They are determined to depend on themselves and be their own best friend. The problem is, is that they can't shake this relationship or lack thereof that they have with you because this connection is here. And you guys have a lot of sparks, but I think that you're getting in your own way, Scorpio. Um, you and your person, um, it's just the blind lead and the blind here because no one is listening. There is a stubborn energy here. You could be connecting with, um, I don't see water yet, but I definitely see Taurus. Um, so you could be a Scorpio dealing with a Taurus and they're not going to move if you're not going to move. Now we have this five of buttons, so hardship and loss. This uh, reading is deeply rooted in triumphs and tragedies, both of them. It's like... <coughs> A beautiful disaster almost. I've explained that analogy to a couple of my clients um, in explaining their relationship with their individuals. And that's what it feels like. It feels like a beautiful disaster. Um, we're ending here with hardship, loss, the five of buttons. We're talking about um, being left out in the cold. We're talking about sickness. There is definitely a running theme here of feeling left out in the cold. When we start, there is a isolation or a betrayal, or I am keeping my distance from you because although I love you, it hurts to do it, but this is what I have to do. It also feels like there is a lack of trust here. The top of the deck, we have another four of needles. Um, this is four of swords. So we've already had the four of pentacles in the heart place. Now, those very same energies that I talked about before I even had cards, here it is. So this is the Four of Swords. Um, quietly contemplating right now, um, introspection, um, basically recuperating, separating, uh, pulling their energy back and going within. Um, and then we have the Messenger. This is Spirit Guides. Um, and this kind of goes in line with that uh, Judgment card that was 
revealing itself at the top of the deck. Um, the messenger, spirit guides, protection, divine signs. No matter what, at the end of the day, um, there is a direct message or a direct theme to your partner about this situation. And although it may hurt your partner um, and this person that loves you, Scorpio, one thing is for sure. They're not strong enough to leave. They can't walk away completely from the connection because they are getting these downloads and these messages from divine that there is something left here. There's something that they have to do. There is a love for you in the connection that is unmatched with anybody else. And they don't want to abandon that, although they feel like they're very hurt. It's definitely complicated. Um, before I clarify with Romance Angel Oracles, I want to say there is strong, strong earth towards Virgo, Virgo and Capricorn, a touch of water. OK, so you could be connecting with someone that is Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio or have that in their chart, uh, Scorpio. And finally, strong air. OK, strong air. Um, we have obviously Libra, Gemini and Aquarius on the board. OK, we're going to go in with the three of swords and, and clarify that. And we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. They feel as if every time they hit a roadblock with you, they have allowed these roadblocks and these in this heartache and pain to take them over. And they have stayed by your side and remain. And they feel like they had to take a step, a, a break and take a step away from this. So because they feel like they disrespected themselves by staying. So they call themselves loving themselves first and filling up their own cup. However, the two of cups is being clarified by worth waiting for. They realize that there is a divine message here, though, that there is something that has come down with the messenger card saying that they should wait for this that there are some things that is being worked out and it's not being worked out on their schedule, Scorpio. It's being worked out on a divine schedule and they can't do anything about it, but honor their feelings, but at the same time, protect their feelings at the same time. Look how deep and contradictory that may be. Okay, and we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles being clarified by, and that just happened. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. <coughs> it is safe for you to love. Open up your heart and receive to give and receive the highest energy of all. When I'm looking at this, they're being guided to open up to you despite the disappointments that they felt. And this is what it is because they feel very profoundly connected to this relationship and this connection with you. Okay. Um, they are completely self-fulfilled. Self, they rely on themselves. Um, they have a lot of self-reliance. They want you, but they don't necessarily need you. And they're realizing Scorpio that um, nothing takes the place of being in your life. Nothing matches the feeling that they have when they're with you. Okay. So the nine of pentacles is being clarified by, yep, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. And this is what they're grappling with. They're grappling and trying to come to grips with the fact that despite of nothing happening the way that they expected, you are being told that you are the one for them. And, you know, if this isn't Hollywood love, we, you can't resolve this in 30 minutes. You know, this is complicated and this is what life brings. And we do have flirt. Um, I'm not I'm not drawn to the word flirt. I am drawn to extending your lighthearted energy to others. There has to be a way to break the doors down. There has to be a way to um, get through to one another. And I believe <laughs> that that's exactly what's going to happen. They want this part, this person wants to extend lighthearted energy um, and kind of just feel you out. You guys pop, probably will start down that road. Um, love yourself first. Worth the way it is safe for you to love. This could be the one flirt. 
Um, I think that ultimately they're going to be deciding very soon what they want. Um, and o overall, I really, really do feel like um, positive thinking and faith. They, they, they really struggle with faith. They're confused um, about the way that some things have went. And a lot of this has a lot to do with the fact that they don't want to put their lives on hold for you. And despite everything that you guys have been through, they damn sure don't want to admit that you may be the one because they have a very specific way of looking at things like the majority of us do of what love is and when to take, we have these internal things within us. Okay. It's time to go to the next level. Okay. And when things don't happen the way that we see in our hearts, then this couldn't possibly be the one. It's not nothing that's going right. All we've done is argue, you know, we don't see eye to eye. And when you really grow up, uh, and uh, that's popular. I need to stop saying that. When you evolve and you're thinking and really start to have radical acceptance of yourself and your expectations and the expectations that you put upon others, even if you walk away with the exact same conclusion, um, you will look at the situation differently. But unless you have a radical acceptance type of mentality you're not going to look at this like it wasn't a failure because it hurts. And so that all comes from obviously what you're going through, what the different variables in your life, where you are, your abandonment, like all of these different variables, like your upbringing, your spiritual path. And you, you it ultimately, in a nutshell, change the way you think about it because we can't put our expectations upon others. I'm feeling a very um, fixed energy. So there is expectations that just is the way that the person is, you know, and also the way that you are, Scorpio. So it's very, I'm going to look at it the way that I look at it, very four of pentacles. Uh, and, and that mentality sometimes can block change and can block this you evolving because you have this expectation. Well, love equals this. And if you're not doing that, then you couldn't possibly love me. So because now I'm convinced that this isn't love, I'm going to treat you as such. And that's what I think has went wrong between you guys. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Despite what has went on between you two, they are grappling with the messages that they are receiving from Divine that they should wait for you. And this is the one. And when I say wait... A divine schedule does not necessarily mean put your life on hold. If you understood what divine timing is, then it wouldn't feel like you're putting your life on hold. That's what they're struggling with. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Certainly hope that it resonated and I will see you in the next one, Scorpio. It is always a pleasure to read your energy and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.